What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be unboxing a Marvel's Avengers Infinity War loot box. This one here you can get at Walmart. It ranges from $20 to $25. This one was on sale for $20, which is why I decided to pick it up. I've had an eye on some of the Walmart loot boxes for quite some time now. I absolutely love the Venom one. I really want to purchase it, but every time I go, they seem to be sold out. But I happened to see this one. As you guys know, I love the Avengers. So I decided to give it a shot. Plus, all of the Walmart loot boxes have a description and show everything that is going to be in the box. Some people like that. Some people don't. Some people would rather just everything be a surprise. But for me, I'd rather know what I'm purchasing, especially for $20, to make sure it's stuff that not only am I going to like, but I'm actually going to use. So everything in here looks relatively good. Let's open it up and check them out. So I'm really excited to see what the mystery item is. It kind of looks like it might be an Infinity Gauntlet. Of course, it's blacked out, so I'm not sure what it is going to be. So the first thing right on top is this card from the company that supplies the boxes to Walmart, Culture Fly. And it has a link to a website here. You can go and take a quick little survey for a 50% off online purchase. And with their online store, not only is it the stuff that they sell in Walmart for loot boxes, but there might be some that they don't sell at Walmart, only online. So it's worth checking out and doing this survey. So I'll just put this up really quick so you guys can get the websites and check it out and get 50% off your order. So the first item in the box is a wall art. And because of the wrapper here, it has a terrible glare, but it is everybody, all of the cast, all of the superheroes from Infinity War. So that looks awesome. I really like this. Uh, mine seems to have a little bit of a damage in this corner here. It looks like it's bent, but it just seems to be over the Avengers logo. So for me, I think I'm still going to put this up on my wall. Uh, it literally has everybody in it, or at least the main characters. So... That to me is awesome. I like getting stuff like this. So that is the first item. Next is the pin set, which is for Groots and Rocket. So they look okay. Um, I'm actually going to try to open it up here. Um, I do collect pins. I don't look for them, but whenever I do receive them, I don't get rid of them. I always keep them. So these are really nice pins. I seem to like them. They're not the metal ones that I usually prefer, but still it's a pin, so I'm definitely going to be putting this up. That looks really cool. Next is this blanket, which normally in the loot boxes, I'm a little iffy on blankets. Number one, I always have a ton of blankets anyway, so it's not that I needed a new blanket, but to have an Avengers blanket, something that I might be able to throw over a chair or something like that, it seems to be interesting to me, so I can't wait to see what it is here. I'm just going to unravel it. It looks like a nice soft one. It seems like it's going to be comfortable. And it's larger than I expected. So we have basically, I guess it has a good chunk. Black Panther, Ant-Man, Star-Lord, Iron Man, Captain America... Guardians of the Galaxy, so it is really nice. The back is just plain white, which is okay for a loot box. Of course, you're not going to have a nice back to it, but it is really soft. It's more of a throw blanket, so something really light just to cover up with. It's definitely not going to keep you warm in the winter, but it is a fairly big blanket. I'm really surprised with that, but honestly, I love this. This looks like it's going to be Definitely comfortable, and I am going to find a spot for it, probably over a chair or something like that, but it is a really nice blanket. I'm just going to stick it here for now. Next, I'm going to save the mystery box, or the mystery item, for last. But next is, I believe, the tumbler cup. And I don't usually get these, I don't use them, so I actually don't own any. But this is one that it seemed interesting because it's all Avengers all around it. Comes with the straw too. I don't know, for me, I don't know if this is something practical enough that I personally will use. 
I usually just stick with a water bottle. So I don't know if I'm going to use this cup too much, but if I ever need one, I guess I have one now. Uh, main thing I liked about it and the reason, normally I'll avoid these, but it's Avengers. So even as a display piece up on my shelf, I could see me using that. But if I ever needed a tumbler cup, there it is. It's waterproof. So if I spill it, it's not going to leak out other than in the straw here. So, I mean... It will get some use eventually, but probably with me, not often. And next is this Infinity Gauntlets Mystery Item. It actually says what it is on the back, so I'm not going to show you guys that. And I don't think I'm going to use it for the reason intended, but here it is. It actually has a pretty decent amount of weight to it. So there is the Infinity Gauntlets, and it is actually a bottle opener. So as you guys know, because I mentioned this before, I don't drink, so I'm never going to need a bottle opener. So for me, it's more of a collector piece that I'm going to be putting up on a shelf. It looks really nice. I like how it looks like a brass finish. It's actually pretty heavy. I'm surprised. I expected it to be lightweight or possibly just plastic. It looks like these stones here. My only thing with the stones that I don't like is how the one on the thumb is just a little circle where all the others on the fingers are oval, how it should be. And then, of course, you have the big center one here that is the yellow one. So I think that they should have made the green one here the same as all the rest, the longer one instead of just a small little one. But still, it looks like a nice collector's piece, something that I'm happy to have because I don't have any Infinity Gauntlets collector item or anything. So it's definitely something that I wanted. So I'm not going to be using it for the bottle opener, but this, in my opinion, I'm going to say this was the best item. This box was only $20 at Walmart still, and I know this might not be worth $20 to most, but for me, this is the best piece that I've had out of this box. Of course, we have a pretty cool blanket. I have a pretty cool small little poster to put up on the wall with everybody that is in the movie, all the superheroes, and since I'm a huge fan, I absolutely love that. However, this collector's piece, in my opinion, I'm going to consider it a collector's piece, even though it's just a bottle opener, this is the best item that I got out of this box. So like I've already mentioned, I have my eye on the Venom box, I think there's a Spider-Man box, and a couple other um, I'm not going to be purchasing them all of the time, but whenever I find them, if everything inside it from Walmart, since it actually tells you what's going to be in it, if everything looks like it's stuff that I will like and be able to put either up on my shelf or actually use, then I'll purchase the box then and unbox it for you guys to see. But hope you guys liked this video. To me, the Avengers box was worth it, but of course, everybody's taste is different. If you don't think you're going to use the blankets, you don't want the wall arts, you're not going to use this, or you don't really care for it, it might not be worth it for you, but definitely check them out, which is why it's a good thing that Walmart actually shows everything that's going to be in it, except for the mystery item. And of course, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can go on this website, for Culture Fly and see what other boxes that they have online that they don't sell at Walmart. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.